Hi everybody, it's Pastor Lillier from Emmanuel. Hope you're well. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the concept, uh, the reality of perspective. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving to work. I think it was a Monday, and I was thinking about all the things I had to do, thinking about worship the day before, and this how you kind of, you know, just hope you can, you know, thrive and make it through. And I was driving um, from here to there, uh, where I live, to where I work, and there was a uh, a traffic kind of um, stop, if you will, in the middle of my journey. And a bunch of cars that were uh, lined up where they're not usually lined up, but it's Naples and traffic is a little funky. And so I waited until it was my turn to see what the reason was. And I noticed off to my right near the sidewalk, there were about five or six city workers with a bunch of trucks. And five of the workers were just standing around, but they were all watching this other worker that was standing above a manhole cover. And this person, man or woman, was in a full hazmat suit from head to toe. There was not one bit of skin that was showing this. It was like, you know, someone on the moon. And the manhole cover was off and there was a big geyser. It was going up probably 10 feet in the air and and the water, well, I don't, how would I describe it? It was dirty. It was clearly not fresh water. And it was going up in the air and it was cascading down on the head of this person and the body and the front and the back and the five or six people that were a part of this work team were all thinking to themselves, I'm having a better day than the person who's in that suit. And the person in the suit is thinking, why did I draw the short straw? Why couldn't I be one of them? It made me think of perspective because I have visited people in the hospital over my career and they'll be in the cancer wing. And they're the kind of people that I will ask them how they're doing and then they'll say, well, how are you? And I think, how caring are you when you're asking me and I'm a visitor and you're a resident in this place? And many times people will say, you know, Pastor, there are people here who have it so much worse than I do. And my heart goes out to them. And I thank God for the news that I have, the place I am at, that I have doctors and nurses and the medicine in the United States is great and I'm still worried about the future, but people are praying for me. And I think perspective. The thing is, my friends in Christ, is we tend to compare upward. We tend to think of the people who have more or those who earn more money or those who have more toys. We don't think of how absolutely blessed we are and compare with people that are scraping together nickels and dimes and dollars to buy their next meal. And we look at people and we think, well, because they're this or here or live here or drive that or they look this way, that they have it this way. We all have pain. We all have problems. We all have seasons of, of sunshine, if you will, metaphorically. And then we have storms. The Apostle Paul talked about, I've had a lot and I've had a little. I've chosen to be content with what I have. There's an old story, I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently back in the day of kings and queens, there was a king who summoned his jeweler and said, I would like you to make me a ring, and I want you to inscribe on one side of it, this too shall pass. Okay, I will do that, sir. But there's one more thing on the other side of the ring, I want you to inscribe the words, this too shall pass. Well, sir, asked the jeweler, uh, why would it say the same thing? And the king reportedly said in this tale, well, sometimes in life, when it's really, really good, I'll look and realize that this too shall pass. But then there are other times when life is on the other side, if you will, of the ring, other side of the coin, and things are tough, and I'll look, this too shall pass as well. It's a matter of perspective. As I drove to work, worried about the things therein, I realized I could have been the person in that rubber suit. 
we are blessed. And we look for the blue sky, we look for the clouds, we look for the palm trees. It rains every once in a while around here in Naples, but most of the time it's sunny. I think it's probably endemic of our life. This week, find blue skies, find the sun amidst the clouds. It's a matter of perspective, and we are truly blessed. Be well. God bless.